Hello everybody, this is Tushar Vakt and you are watching the Vitamix. I am really sorry that I am not using a proper tripod or a professional setup to shoot this video. But this is quite a check video because Google has launched something which is going to kill the GPT-4. So Google has finally launched its Gemini, which is also known as DeepMind Gemini. It will be working in the Google Bard existing AI tool. So what is this Gemini and why is there a big hype in this Gemini? So basically, ChatGPT-4 has the access to image reading and video reading and kind of few things, which even not having, I think, I guess. And uh, when Comparing with the DeepMind Gemini, which is the Google's new updated version in the Google Bar, this Gemini is having the access to video, web file, and image file, and all the things. If you really want to know that what crazy is all about in this AI tool, just see the video that I'm playing, that I'm attaching in this video, so that you have a deep understanding of what exactly Google Gemini is all about. Watch the video and thank me later. Nine rupees, nine rupees cannot even buy you a packet of chips. But what if I tell you nine rupees can save your job? What if I tell you 9 rupees can get you salary hike? What if I tell you 9 rupees can build your career in better way? Sounds too good to be true, right? Let's start. All right, testing Gemini. Here we go. Tell me what you see. I see you placing a piece of paper on the table. I see a squiggly line. What about now? The contour lines are smooth and flowing, with no sharp angles or jagged edges. It looks like a bird to me. Hmm, what if I add this? The bird is swimming in the water. It has a long neck and beak. It is a duck. Yes! A duck is a type of waterfowl in the family Anatidae. Ducks are closely related to geese and swans. The duck appears to be blue. This is not a common color for ducks. However, there are some breeds of blue ducks. These are typically not as common as other duck breeds. It is more common for ducks to be brown, black or white. Are you sure? What the quack? I was just talking about a blue duck, and now you're holding one. It looks like blue ducks are more common than I thought. Would this float? I'm not sure what material it's made of, but it looks like it might be rubber or plastic. What if I tell you it's making a squeaking sound? Oh. If it's squeaking, it's definitely going to float. Hmm, nice. It is a rubber duck. It is made of a material that is less dense than water. Can you teach me how to say this in a different language? And give me a few options. Ooh, can you explain how to pronounce the Mandarin one? Is it Yatsu? Yatsu is pronounced with a first tone. In Mandarin, there are four tones, which are essential to distinguish the meaning of words. The first tone is a high level tone. Oh, okay. So before moving ahead, I would like to tell you one thing that if you are someone who is not using the AI technology, then you are putting your job at risk. Why am I saying you this? Because AI is not going to replace any human being. But yes, a person using AI can replace another person. So do understand in the 2023 era, you have to get adapted with the AI technology because it is the new revolutionary futuristic way of working. Please do understand that AI is not replacing anybody. But yes, it is a new way of working in 2023 and this is the futuristic model of working it actually helps you to enhance your work experience it reduces your time and it actually helps you to be more productive and more creative so if you really want to get adaptive the AI technology then i am here to let you know that this is a workshop link that i have opened in my screen bar which is happening just for 900 rupees do understand i am not here to sell this workshop it is a beneficial offer for you this is a workshop which will be done with the help of two iit kharagpur alumni who have co-founded multiple seven figure companies and they by themselves are going to teach you how to get adapted with the ai technology and not just this you'll also be getting a certificate at the end of the course the link is given in the description below do check it out and get promoted get updated be updated and be more knowledgeable in the ai industry so now let's get back to the video the duck is in the middle of the ocean there is no land nearby for the duck to rest or find food it is unlikely to find ducks here naturally okay based on what you see come up with a game idea oh and use emojis please how about this we can play a game called guess the country sure let's do it clue one this country is the home of the kangaroo the koala and the great barrier reef oh that's easy Clue 2. This country loves football and has won the most men's World Cups in football history. Hmm. You are trying to get me to find the paper ball under the cup. I accept the challenge. 
the cup to the left. Nice. I know what you're doing. You're playing rock, paper, scissors. What do you see now? The fingers are spread out to look like the wings of a butterfly. What's this? Big ear and barking mouth, a dog. Sweet. The coin should be under the right hand. Hmm, I don't know. The coin is in the left hand using a sleight of hand technique to make it appear as if the coin has disappeared. Both objects are round and flat. There you go. Both are food. The orange is a healthier choice than the cookie. Citrus can be calming and so can the spin of the fidget toy. They are both examples of popular toys that have been enjoyed by children and adults alike for many years. Give me some ideas for what I could make with this. I see pink and green yarn. How about a dragon fruit? Or how about a green cake with a pink heart? Okay, how about these colors? And maybe show me some animals. Okay, now I see blue and pink yarn. How about a pig with blue ears? Or an octopus? Or a bunny with a pink nose? So yes, literally just like how you got shocked, even I got shocked when the video came out in YouTube and when I saw it for the very first time. So do subscribe to our channel because in this week we are going to deep dive a lot about this Google's DeepMind. You know, uh, this Gemini will be studying how to use it, how, what are the, you know, uh, unique ways to use this platform and a lot of more content that I'll be making on this B10X channel. So do subscribe it right now and let's meet with one more amazing video. Thank you. Bye-bye.